Hi, I'm Victoria Breeze. I'm a research assistant with the Global Center for Food Systems Innovation. I used to be a proposal writer for a big engineering firm, but I came back to grad school so that I could actively work on science and not just market it. Now, working for the Global Center for Food Systems Innovation, I'm able to work on projects that have impact on actual people and actual problems, such as the work we're doing in Malawi. Malawi is a small country in eastern sub-Saharan Africa. Malawi's economy is almost entirely dependent on agriculture, and most of its citizens are small-scale farmers. Maize, or corn, as we commonly know it, is the primary crop in Malawi, and it is grown during the country's rainy season, which typically lasts from November to April. As maize needs a lot of water in its early stages of growth, farmers are dependent on a predictable rainfall to have a successful crop. However, farmers in Malawi have recently reported that they think the rainy season is coming later than it used to and are worried about their crops. This is where the researchers come in. To investigate climate trends, we usually rely on data collected over many, many years from lots of weather stations. These instruments can be expensive and require trained technicians and regular maintenance. A developing country such as Malawi does not always have the resources, human or financial, to install a large number of these stations, let alone reliably collect data from them over decades. Yet, in order to see what the rainy season is up to, we need rainfall data. So, to overcome this lack of data, we rely on climate models. Climate models are basically complex mathematical formulas that work together to predict variables like rainfall, humidity, and temperature of a certain location. These predictions can be for past, present, or future, and cover a whole continent or just a very small region, depending on the model. There are a lot of climate models to choose from, but we started with an Africa-centric climate model called CHIRPS, developed by scientists at the University of California at Santa Barbara. Using CHIRPS, we were able to recreate rainfall data for every week of the year from 1981 to 2013. Now armed with the rainfall data we needed, we were able to start looking at the start and end dates of every rainy season for that 32-year period. We found that the farmers had been right all along. The rainy season seems to be getting shorter. The most noticeable change in the rainy season is that it's starting later than it used to. Take a look at this map. It shows the difference between the average start of season date across Malawi and the start of season date in that particular area. Areas that are blue are areas whose rainy seasons start earlier than average. Areas that are red are those that start later. The darker the color, the earlier or later the date. Look at how this central section of Malawi changes over 28 years. Areas that were blue in the 80s start turning green, yellow, and then even red. This change in color helps illustrate how the start of the rainy season is getting later and later. What does all this mean? Well, first we have to do our due diligence and test these results with other models so that we can be sure we're seeing an actual change. After that, we have to look at what a shorter rainy season means for farmers in Malawi. Can they still grow maize but have to start planting it a little later? Do they have to switch to a different kind of maize? or a different crop entirely? I don't know the answer to these questions. That will require input from farmers, the government, and aid workers. However, I do know that those of us at the Global Center for Food Systems Innovation will continue to do research to make sure everyone has the information they need to make informed decisions.